I'm currently working on this open source solar project, OpenEcho, and this is a short update video about the test of the 200 kHz transducer because in the last video I was only able to test the 40 kHz with good results. As the 200 kHz transducer needs a higher drive voltage, the options were quite limited because the TUS only supports 25 volts. First, I wanted to drive the transducer with a large MOSFET and a high voltage power supply because I was afraid to overcomplicate things with a LC matching circuit between the transformer and the transducer, but the opposite seems to be the case. I built this new transducer housing using a pipe, some hot glue, some UV glue, super glue and some stuff I had lying around. Three 9V batteries in series provide the board with the needed 25V drive voltage that gets boosted by the transformer to around 250V peak to peak. In air the results were quite underwhelming, but I decided to test it in water anyway. In the test I used the original TUS 4470 Arduino shield I built, but modified it with a 1-6 to transformer between the TUS and the 200kHz transducer and a little matching capacitors. The return signal is captured before the transformer because the input of the TUS seems to be saturated when the return is grabbed directly at the transducer, but I think I have to read more about that on the data sheet. A little simulation in every circuit helped me to determine the capacitor values and helped me to understand what's actually going on between the transducer and the transformer. Everything fits into this water pipe contraption and can be submerged underwater because everything is glued in and very watertight. After the test in air, I didn't have the highest expectations about the test in water, but as air has more resistance to ultrasound than water, I tested it anyway. And to my surprise, the results were actually quite good. You can clearly see multi-reflections between the surface and the ground, but I need to do more testing in deeper water because this lake is only 1.5 meters deep. The last time I tested this transducer in water I just used a plastic bag to protect it. And I didn't use the transformer so I ran the transducer at 5 volts and I haven't seen an echo. But this could also be because the water was a little bit more shallow and maybe the echo was still in the blind zone of the transducer. I'm already working on a few new boards. One version will be a fully integrated <coughs> PCB with the piezo transducer directly glued onto the PCB. The goal is to have a fully integrated USB powered echo sounder with raw output. The board will feature an STM32 microcontroller, a proper CNC machine case from plastics or aluminium, al al alum this aluminium. And at some point I need to write a proper TUS4470 library to support all settings registers because currently everything is pretty hacked together. But until then, if you like this project, leave a GitHub star, like, comment, subscription or whatever. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.